Hi everyone, we're going to solve the equation on the interval 0 to 2 pi of cosine of theta divided by 3 minus pi divided by 4 equals 1 half. This is what's called your argument here. So I'm just going to call that alpha since we already are using theta and write this as cosine of alpha equals 1 half. So if you look on the unit circle this is, remember, cosine is your x over r. r is 1 because we have the unit circle. So we're just looking for when x is 1 half. That's in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. x is 1 half here and x is 1 half here. So that means my alpha equals uh, pi divided by 3 and 5 pi divided by 3. So that means this whole argument has to equal pi divided by 3 or 5 pi divided by 3 in order to get the 1 half. So I need to solve for my theta that will, um, when I divide by that by 3 and then subtract pi over 4, I will get one of these. All right, so basically let's go ahead and solve and set this to theta divided by 3. Uh, minus pi divided by 4, uh, I'll call this one uh, alpha 1, alpha 2. So for alpha 1, we get pi divided by 3 plus 2k pi. All right, and uh, we'll go ahead and solve um, for this one. So we have theta divided by 3 equals pi divided by 3 plus we're adding pi divided by 4 to both sides. All right, so this gives you uh, theta divided by 3 equals common denominator is 12. So when you multiply these two, you get 4 pi plus 3 pi that gives you 7 pi. Okay. So for this one, um, we've got to multiply uh, both sides by 3 of the equation, and that's going to give us to isolate your theta. Theta equals 21 pi divided by 12 plus 6k pi. Now we have to also do our other one. So we have... Um, Let's see, 6k pi. Um, let's see, we can reduce this real quick by 3. So this is going to be 7 pi divided by 4 plus 6k pi. Now let's do the other one. So we're going to check this one out. So that one's going to be uh, theta divided by 3 minus pi divided by 4 equals um, 5 pi divided by 3 plus 2k pi. So add pi divided by 4 to both sides. So you get theta divided by 3 equals 12, and then you cross multiply, and that's going to be 20 pi plus pi is 23 pi uh, divided by um, plus 2k pi. Now uh, we're going to multiply uh, everything through by 3, so that gives you theta equals... Um, 3 goes into 12 four times, so you're going to get 23 pi divided by 4 plus 6k pi. And, and both of these, uh, k is any integer. Our other one we had was theta equals 7 pi divided by 4 plus 6k pi. And just notice how big this is. This is big, and we only can be between 0 and um, uh, 
2 pi. Well, this number here is already bigger than 2 pi. Because if our, if our denominator is 4, then we can't go higher than 8 pi divided by 4. And then you keep adding 6 uh, pi to uh, your angle, it gets too big. So we only have one solution, and that solution is this one. Because it's smaller than 8 pi divided by 4. So my angle is 7 pi divided by 4. It's the only thing that's going to work. When you plug it into that angle, divide by 3, subtract, that will give you the one-half value. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <music>